Hello and welcome to another update video about AVEX. So AVEX, it's a crazy, crazy time in the crypto market. All these, <laughs> just, sorry, I was just reading, reading those news that came out about, um, <laughs> I don't know if you've heard that the uh, SEC uh, sort of wants to get um, Binance's uh, assets frozen or whatever. They should just check it out. There's some news out there it just came out. And it's just a pure, pure clown world out there. Uh, these news, by the way, they often come uh, towards the end of a wave too. So that that is quite interesting. That is similar to the piece of news or the all these news that came out here in March, which were related to the banking crisis and banking bank collapses. Okay, so we've got wave two time again, and therefore it shouldn't be a surprise if we get negative news. Interestingly enough, um, to those latest news today market hasn't reacted in a negative way so we start to get to the end hopefully of this wave too uh, it's getting interesting so most altcoins would could really do now with a recovery but at the moment i have no clear evidence that the low is in certainly what is interesting is that here avax formed um, enough waves to the downside to finally complete this correction so here it's literally just waiting for a signal. We did that before. If we measure the length of the wave W, we go to the high of the X wave, then you can see one, as you might know, one common target for a Y wave is the 100% extension. In this case, $13.60, and that was reached um, today. Yeah, it was reached today. So let's see if this now sparks the reversal. I mean, again, I can only say we have enough waves to the downside to count this correction complete. We had that on the Solana chart as well, and Solana did rally quite a bit since then. So here it's a similar situation, but it first would need to break above resistance. And we've got a bit of a resistance area here between yeah, $14.90 and $15.05. And so that's structural resistance we need to get above. And ultimately, we need to form the, fi the first five wave move to the upside. I don't have five waves up yet. I have a possible one, two, one, two setup. This could be a third wave, but a wave four and a five is missing. So I want to see five waves up, ideally above resistance, followed by a three wave move down, making a higher low. Um, the problem is that this itself is only a three wave move yet. If it forms five waves up, three waves down, we can talk about a possible breakout to the upside. This chart is ready. It literally just needs to rally now, which doesn't mean the correction is over, but if it's over, it has a chance to rally now. Yeah. So again, that, you know, we get here to the limits of what an analysis can do. We've got our support area. We've got the trend reversal area. We can count the correction complete. Yeah. We've been waiting for another low that happened. It even hit the one to one ratio. What else can you do? You can't do any more. Yeah? It's literally just waiting for a trend reversal. Now, if I told you now the low is in, it would be pure guessing. Yeah, and I think it's only professional to say that, you know, we, we are now there where we need to be. But we are also at the same time at the limits of what a technical analysis can do. It cannot tell you what the market will definitely do tomorrow. But I can tell you that there is the potential for it to rally now against the low that was made today. But at the moment, naturally, we still need to be cautious because we haven't got that signal yet. We still make lower lows and lower highs at the moment. But if we make the first higher low and the first higher high, higher high and higher low, then this is a signal. We have on the four hour chart now a bullish crossover on the MACD that just highlights that, yeah, you know, we could be getting here into something of a, of a more extensive bounce. Remember yesterday, I think it was, um, we said we are oversold on various crypto charts. So this is now moving up yeah get a bit of a bounce after the negative news yesterday on the daily chart nothing major here the macd is still in bullish momentum territory and it's actually pushing higher also um the rsi is in a bullish cross but is not above 50. if we get here above 50 uh, which is which happened back here around the 10th of march yeah it's basically a buy signal and it stayed all the time above 50 until it came down. Here again, it's been since yeah middle of April below 50 and we now try to get into the above 50 territory, but we're not quite there yet. Might be worth watching that. But for now, I mean, 
This is everything I can tell you, right? And the idea is that we are in an overall bullish scenario, but the condition is that the price does not break below 12.99, at least not sustain below it. A brief break below wouldn't be a problem, but as you know, a sustained break below the 78.6 FIP level would rather be bearish. So hopefully price stays above that level and then it could rally in a third wave. Um, need to reassess this whole thing if price breaks below 12.99 because that would rather have bearish implications. Okay, that's my update about AVAX. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.